What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and I'm getting smacked by a wheat field lookout who wandered in here. Hey buddy, can you not chill? Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and start this episode. We need to talk to Mercian Moretti here to get our next quest. Who are you? You're not dressed like those rebels. There are all sorts of people stealing our food lately. Did the Chamberlain send you to the farm? All of our previous requests for aid fell on deaf ears. I'm glad they finally dispatched someone to help us. Although you didn't come alone, right? Oh, yes I did. Okay, so we have these different defeat, uh, the, the lookout. So we're going to grab both of these side quests. And then we have Alrundi the Mortal. I see that you're interested in learning more about Alrundi. I understand why the Grand Chamberlain sent you here. There isn't much I can tell you, though. If you wish to find Alrundi, go and talk to Hervano Tito. Uh, Hervano Tito has been searching for Alrundi for quite some time. Can be made by gathering Grab coins. that. Okay, so she needs me to kill 35 wheat field lookouts. So we can actually that's a lot. 35. It's not all these guys are wheat field lookouts. They're kind of weak though. Like the scarecrow ghosts, they're not. They don't count. Alright. I can clear these out, though. We'll help out the farm here. I don't want to spend too much time, because I'm stopping to read everything and do all of that different stuff, I don't want to waste too much time doing side stuff. I will do it on my main character, like on my ranger when I'm playing, because I want to get the ranger. When I finish the main story on the ranger, which should be the bridge i don't want to spoil too much but it should be the bridge area and if that's the case then i want to be like 52 or 53 no i don't even think that's gonna be it when the game, uh, it might be when the game initially launches i don't know anymore i don't really know anymore what's gonna be i don't remember what initially started in the game i think that is and if that's the case, I want to be like 54 when I get there. So that requires a tad bit of farming here and there. And I will be doing that. Okay. Just got that message that rewards have been sent. I'm just going to pause. I, don't... I haven't seen the rewards actually pop up anywhere, so we'll see. Okay, I don't need to kill you, Scarecrow. You're inconsequential. Let's go over here. We need to kill 15 more. Not too bad. Probably get... We'll probably get to kill our Rundi in this episode, I would think. So we got the, uh, the seed pouches, which is good. Because that was the other quest that we needed to get done. It's hard to combo these guys. They're weak, but they're, like, spread out, so it makes it hard to get any combos off. And what is... Did my character get frozen there? Or did you just not read my input? That was weird. It was, like, almost that the game didn't read my button inputs. Okay, so we need to kill four more. Hello, I need four more. There's only two back there, so I'm not even going to mess with killing those two. Let's just come over here. Really, stop it. Stop it. Chill with that skill that I never should have bought. Okay. There we go. Clean that up. And one more to go. I don't care about you. Let's go kill this lookout. Come here, buddy. You just need to die. Okay, we're good. I guess I'll kill... There's a lot of guys here. Let me kill them and get the XP. This place is not bad for XP, like I said. When I do my level guide, this is this is a place you want to come. It's a little bit not as good mob density wise as I would have liked. That I, when there's other people here, it's hard because there really isn't enough. But if you can get this area all all to yourself, it's seriously one of the best farms in the game. Siri. How did you think I was talking to you? you How, Siri? How do you think that somehow what I just said was me trying to get... Oh, Siri. Oh, Siri. 
All right, where is Hervano Tito? I think he's actually pretty far away. Oh no, he's right here. I thought Hervano Tito was far away. Ah, yes, this part of the game. I completely forgot about this. I was like, oh yeah, we're going to the next area to do Alrundi, but actually this part's first. All right. There's no need to be lenient on the one. You must the meet a certain country. requirement. I don't remember what the requirement is. I think I have to go... I don't actually know what the requirement is. It might be level, it might be level. Some of them are level restricted. Some of them are knowledge restricted. It might be knowledge of these enemies as I lag. Or it might be level. I, I don't actually know. So, we're gonna fight some of these guys. These guys are kinda strong. In case it's level based, I'm gonna pop this 10% XP. Just in case. Those guys. Man, I do not deal a lot of damage. This is kinda bad. High damage is medi is uh, mediocre at best. Try to kite some enemies up here. Spin back into them. Do my old sorcerer strategy. Spin to win back into enemies that are chasing you. The old sork strategy. It literally is the old... It's literally my sword strategy. Just spin the win into the guys chasing you. And everything will be... Will be easy. Okay, so there's 21. I'm kind of guessing at what it is. I don't actually remember. Because once you... Once you meet... If it's for... I think it's for knowledge. But I'm not sure. Because once you meet the... Once you meet the requirements for knowledge, you don't have to do it again on your character. That's the issue. So, I haven't had to, like, meet the requirements since by Sork on Xbox. So that's obviously been quite some time. It's been, like, it's been almost six months. Okay, we got the mobility unit to B, so I'm going to go back after this and see. Let's go back and see. Yeah, that, okay, that ability actually does damage. That ability might not actually be a terrible PvP, large-scale PvP skill. If there's a couple enemies in front of you and you're trying to get, like, like now with Shies in the game, trying to sneak behind to get a Shy kill. Might not be a bad, might not be a bad skill. Okay, so go meet the NPC indicated on, oh, indicated on the world map first. So let's go meet Kale. Have you heard about Rundi, leader of the peasant soldiers? I don't think you can call a group of lowly peasant soldiers. They are just a group of rebels plundering everything. I want that Rundi taken down. I will sweep the castle site clean no matter what. I have no idea what Captain Tito is waiting for. Resistance or revolution? I'm asking you because you're a natural or neutral adventurer in this. Who in the world actually thinks Alrundi is the hope of the peasants? The farmer keep the farmers keep worshiping Alrundi as their hero, even when their storage sheds are pillaged by the rebels. They just blame Lord Damengat, and that's why this clash never ends. If you help us, okay, now can I talk to you, buddy? Okay, there we go. You better be good. Unpack your stuff right now and get ready. There is a lot to do. do you need rewards, so let's buddy? discover this. <laughs> And I have to ask about Alrundi. What kind of person is Alrundi? You want to know what kind of person Alrundi is? Well, where should I start? He's the leader of the rebel army, my sworn enemy, and an enemy of Serendia, which means he's someone you and I have to get rid of. Do you understand? We received word of a mercenary heading our way. Uh, are you that mercenary? Good. Then I'll cut to the chase. Alrundi has started a rebellion and is threatening the lives of the villagers. There are also plenty of Nagas, Foggins, Red Orcs, and the Baragi Den Bandits to take care of. Complete mess, if you ask me. 
We barely have enough men to defend our, our territories. How are we expected to fight as one? Wouldn't you agree? Okay, so there's the side quest, and then the bigger concern is that the rebels are becoming more violent every day. It's very likely that there are villagers who sympathize with the rebels, but nothing good will come of it if we go in, we go charging in and start cracking heads. How we handle this situation is crucial to our success. We need to get to the root of the problem before the rebels grow stronger. The rebels aren't as well organized and disciplined as the Serendian army, but they've built up a decently sized force and have strength in numbers. Could you access a could you assess the current situation perhaps even cause some confusion by destroying their fortifications? The rebel stronghold is not far from here. Yes, I can, buddy. Um, and so, I actually... Not disconnect. So, we actually gotta just go do what I was doing before. Um, so, yeah. I have to take a quick bake. I can't even talk. I gotta take a quick break and we'll be back in just a second to continue slaughtering rebels and we're back sorry about that little cut i had something come up that i had to take care of real quick uh and so now we are back time to go destroy barricades set up by the rebels this is easy and then we need to destroy flags set up by the rebels as well what on earth <laughs> so no tents i know that's like later i don't know why i'm filling these enemies. I don't really need to. I need to get a better weapon. This is gonna be, it's gonna be kind of tragic. Okay, so we need to destroy barricades. I know there's barricades over here, so let's come over here and we'll destroy some barricades. I also need to destroy some flags. So there's one barricade down. I see a flag. There used to be like a big old section of barricades. I don't know where that is. Oh my enemies. What the? What the like 10 enemies? I want that little like slide that I can do. It's like so useful. It's like something that it's a little bit better than the like the like dash to the side that I get on my sorceress. I just like it. Like that's just awful that we don't have pets on here. And I'm not spending money for a pet. That's just not happening. And I'm definitely not stopping to loot everything. No, Ain't nobody got time for that. I wish we just they just gave us pe five pets for this. It actually would be... I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not a gigantic fan of the fact that I have to pay for pets to be optimal. But... I'm, I know I'm giving them ideas here, but uh, it would have been smart to give us all five pets in the beta, if we're being honest, because then everybody would have gotten a feel for what five pets would do for you, and it would have made more people want to actually consider spending money to get the five pets. I I just think I think that's I think that's like sound logic, right? And it would just be quality of life for the rest of us that are going to buy five pets anyway. I think we're going to get... We're going to get, like, three pets for free. I think. Three? Two or three for free. Because the game comes with one, pre-order bonus is one, and then signing up for the emails about the beta, it should be a pet. I signed up for that like six different ways because I don't know what email I figured out what email is connected to my PlayStation account, but I literally didn't remember, and so it was kind of a little dicey. I didn't know. I was like, hey, don't really know which email I used to sign up. So I just I just registered for that email with like seven emails because I have a bunch of different emails. I have two different college emails because I technically am enrolled in two colleges. And I have my YouTube email, I have a personal email, <laughs> I have a really old email that I use for stuff sometimes. And so it was just an adventure trying to figure out what the heck I, uh, what the heck email I used for my PlayStation. Because when I saw the sign up thing, I wasn't at home, so I couldn't just look. There's so many. I just want the flags. I know I have to come back here and kill enemies anyway, so I, I don't really care about getting that part done. 
Looking for the I know the flags. Yeah, here we go. This should end it off. Man, that skill is nice. I like that skill. The Berserkers? The Berserkers find it a little bit of a special place in my in my heart. I kind of enjoy him. I, I'm, I can't lie. He's kind of... He's actually good fun. Oh my gosh, I love that attack so much. I always forget that that's not... It's kind of a really bad... It's a really bad attack. Like, I don't think I should be using that for anything. But man, that is one fun attack. It's one of the more fun attacks in, in the game. Okay, so we need one more flag. I really think three hits to destroy a flag? There should be a flag somewhere over here. I just want... Oh, there's a flag right there. Hello. So let's destroy this. Okay, now we'll go... Oh, actually, all I gotta do is summon the Black Spirit. Hopefully I'm not being chased. And I am. Get out of here, mobility unit. I don't want to move too much and attract anything else. That's why I, that's why I was spamming the one attack. Uh, are you warmed up now? It's time to get down to business. So repeatable quest to... Oh, that's the one word that's in progress. Okay. These rebels are too confident for their own good. They don't seem to have a clue how precarious their situation is, do they? Let's teach them a lesson. Yeah, maybe destroying their barracks and watchtowers will break their morale. Hee hee hee. Okay, so we need to destroy the barracks and the morales. The tents, the tents are the barracks, right? I think the tents are the barracks. Yes. Ah, oh, I love that attack so much. I mean, at a certain point, I gotta have a little bit of fun with what uh, what skills and stuff I'm using. If I can't use the skills that I really like, just because they're not usable, they're not optimal. I mean, come on, that attack is so much fun to use. We're just sucking it up. I know that attack is not good in the scheme of, like, clearing mobs fast, but it's it's good in terms of me having enjoyment. And isn't that all that really matters, is whether or not you have fun. But that, that attack is, like, low-key, like, my favorite thing. I really like the Berserker Spin the Wind, too. It's a really fun... It's a really... What am I trying to say? It's a fun... Uh, I don't even know what word I'm trying to say here. It's a really fun spin to win move. It's probably a little bit more fun than my Sorceress, if I'm being, like, objective. Like, obviously, I like my Sorceress as a spin to win, but I think this dude here's got a... He's got a fun... He's got a really fun uh, spin to win. And, oh my gosh, that attack is just so much fun. Here soon, we're going to go through and I'll, I'll go over skills again, but I want to save up some skill points and make sure I have a bunch of stuff unlocked. I don't want to just keep going in there every video and not having really anything to show. I gotta stop doing that attack. It's so bad. It, like, does a lot of damage and it's fun, but it's so bad. Get some health back on that. I do need to kill wizards. Look at that. Just R1 spamming these guys is so bad. That's so terrible. I just wanted to test that out. There we go. That's down. Need to kill these wizards. Because I do want to complete this optional quest. We're close. Okay. So there's another tower over here. I want to get all of this done so that just the wizards will pop up on my map because it looks like that's what we're having the most trouble getting down, the wizards. I, I just like, I love the, the Berserker's like mob to mob mobility. He just has all sorts of different slams and different options of things that he can do. It's just really nice. And they're all kind of like forward dashing thrust type attacks. 
Um, yeah, let's kill this guy. He noticed me, so. He's gotta die. Kill the patrol. Okay. Hurry up and do this. What happened to that mom momentum you had before? It's not over yet, Kratos. He he he. Don't stop until they completely surrender. Okay, so now we just need to defeat rebels. Did you see that? He he he. Those rebels are a joke. They're nothing but a group of thieves. If we hit them hard enough, they'll think twice before ever picking up a weapon again. Now that they're weakened, let's drive them out of here for good. Please don't hit me. Let's go and teach them a lesson. Little piece of crap. You couldn't have waited like 10 more seconds. You just had to come here. Okay. So we just need. Oh, I didn't even accept it. I gotta pull the quest. Bro, I swear, just let me accept the quest. Thank you. Gotta kill 55 enemies. It's actually a fair amount. But I need to kill wizards anyway to complete the free quest. Or the side quest, get up. I just got knocked down by a single wizard. That, nice, that spin to win is really easy to control. I really like that. It's it's really it's a really nice attack to control. That's not what I wanted to do, but that worked. I was trying to try one particular skill, but I think I had the. Think I had the buttons down wrong. Yeah! I literally, if I play, if I do this character on the main game, or when the full game comes out, I'm gonna have to do. That attack's gonna be like my bread and butter attack. I'm gonna do that attack like I do the. Is it. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. The. The. Strident something, I think, is the Lon's ability that... Hold on, we can do this ability. Hold on. Hold on. I thought I had to be standing still. Hold on. Hey! Oh my gosh, everybody chill! Everybody chill! How do I do it? I thought it was... Oh, I probably don't have enough. Hold on, I gotta get my stamina or my stuff back up. Okay, now we can try it on the next group of enemies. There's so many people here. I'm gonna run across the street here and uh, go kill these guys. This this skill, yeah. Oh, it's actually kind of low key, kind of good. If there's just a bunch of enemies, that skill's probably low key fire. Not gonna lie, that skill might actually be the wave. I have to make sure to do enough RBs that I don't run out of run out of my mana use my skills like right here okay let's try it right here like look at this okay come here guys look at look at that look at that that's actually low-key kind of good it stuns them maybe i didn't make a mis didn't make a mistake if you get enough guys following you that could that could be lethal i'm not gonna lie that could be straight lethal Ah, uh, hello, wizard. I need to kill you. How are you not... Do I deal no damage? What? I hit that guy like three times in a row and it dealt like no damage. I guess they could have missed. Okay, here we go. We gotta do it right here. Oh, look at that. That's that's actually low-key. Low-key. I made fun of that skill, but it's low-key kind of nice. Kind of nasty. It's not, like, amazing, but it's low-key a lot better than I thought it was. Okay, I need to kill three more wizards. Hello, wizards? How are there no wizards anywhere? Wiz ah, there we go. Hello, buddy. Time for you to die. And totally whip that attack. guys out of here. This will complete this and then I can see where wizards are specifically. Why is that wi Okay, that wizard did count. He just wasn't showing up on the map as an enemy I needed to kill. 
Okay, we need to find two more wizards. Urgh! Oh, that attack is so clean. I love it so much. It's so not very good, but it's so very, very fun. Where did the wizard go? Hello? Wizard? Wizard? Buddy? The wizard just, like, disappeared into the ether in the ground. What just happened? Wizard, come back. Come back, buddy. The wizard straight just... That wizard just straight kicked the bucket and disappeared. What is that? Okay, well... You, come here. Yeah. Slam you into the ground. Oh, look at that ability. If you knock people to the ground, it's so... It's kind of low-key fire. I don't know if it's like an actual usable skill that I could use over a large portion of time, but it's low-key not bad. Wizard's down. Nice. Now we can head on. Head on back over here. Turn the quest in. I think we're at Alrundi, which is good, because then we can end the episode with Alrundi. Jump over the barricades. Let's turn this bad boy in. Okay, Hervano Tito. Let's turn in our side quest first, get that experience, and then... Good! This should be enough to grab his attention. Show yourself, Alrundi! Mouse caught in a trap. Ah, I forgot. It's, 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 it's not it. Right okay. Do you see the Sable Keeper over there? Shh. Careful now. Roland I is a spy who is supporting the Alrundi rebels. He can deny it all he wants, but we know he's providing vital information to Alrundi. My plan is to use Roland I's spying to our advantage. What do you think? We'll provide Alrundi with false information to lure him out. Alrundi tends to let his guard down to people he believes he can trust. He would never suspect Roland I's report to be an attempt at his life. Tell Roland I that Hervano Tito will personally lead a, ra lead a raid against the rebel base. This should be enough to make Alrundi crawl out of his hole. Okay. Probably got better gear. We got a necklace that gives us extra attack. Nice. We lose the one that gives us 8 accuracy, but I think the attack at this point is better. Could be wrong, but I, th I, th I think it's better. Hello, Roland I. So didn't Captain Hervano Tito welcome you with open arms? He told Crewhorn he doesn't need any more soldiers, but he welcomes any adventurers passing by. Well, the position must hold more importance to him because he had to get rid of Alrundi to secure it. You'll regret it if you harm Alrundi. You're free to do as you please, but you should always think about whether it's the right thing to do. Give the false information. Hervano Tito and the soldiers have gotten quite busy all of a sudden. Do you know what's going on? So Tito is leading the raid? Hmm, I see. I've never seen him out on the battlefield. That's why I asked. So are you heading out with them? Be careful. So you say Hervano Tito will personally lead the assault on the stronghold. Interesting. Looks like things will get busy soon. Okay, head of the rebels. Seems like Roll and I had trouble containing himself upon hearing news of Tito's appearance in battle. I'm pretty sure he'll manage to deliver the message to Alrundi. Let's make our way to the ambos location and wait for Alrundi to show up. We'll find out soon enough who the better man is. Knowledge on Dastard Beg. Okay, so now it's time to lure out and defeat good old Alrundi. Uh, how far away is he? Not that far. We'll just talk while I run over there. We'll just have ourselves a little discussion. But, uh, yeah. So, I should be able to easily get three videos up. And then for next week, I think I'll continue to put these up at 9 a.m. Eastern. I'll probably try to mention this Sunday night in the final episode of the weekend. Because we're doing three episodes a day this weekend. And then we'll go down to one of whatever I've got left. Um, and so, they'll go up at 9 a.m. Eastern. And then I hope... I hope this isn't going to be more than like 15 episodes or something like that. We might take a day off of the beta on Wednesday. Well, no, we won't have to do that. On Thursday, maybe. Because we have Kama, Sylvia coming out. And we have uh, Archer coming out. So I'm going to have multiple videos on that going out. It's a very, very busy time. And then also, Bless Unleashed is supposed to come out. Um, and I want to do some content on that. Black Desert will still be main over that. Black Desert is still clearly way better than that. So I'm not dropping Black Desert for Bless Unleashed or anything. I just want to make some content for it, have some fun, play it. Let, little let me take breaks from BDO, so 
that's really why I want to do it. But we also have that coming out. Then we have Borderlands 3. I'm going to do some videos on that. So all sorts of great stuff coming out in the next month or so. And we have the full launch of PlayStation. Okay, so I want to pop this before that guy knocked me out of the animation. All right, Arundi, let's party. My weapons are probably dealing no damage, so, uh, yeah. And usually, you know, you're picking on someone smaller than you. Now you gotta pick on someone your own size, Arundi, as I pick up the smaller guy and carry him across the map. Get that spin to win off on Arundi. I like how I have knowledge on Arundi. This is kind of fun. This is kind of like a battle of the titans. I'm used to, like, playing as characters that are a lot smaller than Alrundi, but the Berserker is on par. About the same size as Alrundi. Get my health back with that skill. I like that skill that it gives me some health back. That's really nice. Really helpful. Almost dead. Let's see. Can I get the spin to win off? Should kill him. Yep. Spin to win is so nice. Might as well loot that while I wait. Um, oh, okay. It's not like before. Before, when you killed Arundi, he would spawn here and you could talk to him. But I guess that's just, uh, that's just a quest thing, I guess. That's one of the, the main story quests that's not just slaughter people. Because essentially, the story quest that I'm doing now is just kill missions, essentially. Which which are fun, but they're essentially just kill missions. There's not a whole lot of lore and significance behind them, which is, which is why we'll end up doing both of the other options on PlayStation. Or one full release. This is one of the best places to farm. You can see the high mob density if you look in, at my map as I run by and don't farm it at all. But, yeah, it's a great place to farm. I just... I don't know. I'm trying to do the story. I think we can get pretty far in the story, so... And that'll carry us to level 50 anyway, so I'm not really worried. I'm not really worried about not hitting level 50 in the beta. We're gonna hit level 50, so... I have, I have no concerns about that. Top off my health a little bit. Have plenty of those small potions. I need to start using them more, because really... I have 110 of them. I'm not going to run out. This guy has... The Berserker has that self-sustain with um, with this ability right here. Because it regens health. And it, it, it regens it pretty well. Okay, you managed to defeat Alrundi. Really? Our rivalry has finally come to an end, Alrundi. All that's left now is to drive out the remaining rebels. Looks like we'll be able to wrap things up thanks to you. As for myself, I might even be able to make a rank for this. Ha ha ha. Eastern Gateway Battle Report. What? You haven't left yet? I'm busy interrogating the rebels, so can you report to Crewhorn Wormsbane in my stead? Don't forget to mention my accomplishments. Ha ha ha. You know what I mean. Here, take this report with you. Okay. So now we need to report to Crewhorn Wormsbane, and we will do that in the next episode. We gotta go back to Hydel and do that. Um, I think... I think we go back there and then we travel down to Glish, but I'm not entirely sure. So we'll find out, though, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop it a big old like if it did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.